A Tulsa pet owner is making changes after losing four of her dogs in four days. It's a story that we first brought you only on two when both she and her veterinarian suspected that poison was the cause. Our Megan Allison went to work for you to learn how common pet poisoning is and why this could be the peak season for it to happen. We do want to warn you, some people might find some of this video that you're about to see tough to watch. Gypsy. Gypsy. <laughs> The week of Thanksgiving, Sean Williams put one dog down and woke up to another dead on the porch of her North Tulsa home. Lino. Two others suffered from seizures and died over the next two days. It wasn't just a light poisoning. It was enough to where they all had seizures and they all died. Her vet at Skyatook Animal Clinic believes they were poisoned. Then a neighbor told Williams the cause was likely two men on horseback he saw only a few days earlier. He said that the one guy j jumped. I said, he got off his horse. He said, no, he jumped off his horse and had something rolled up that looked like kind of a meatball or something, and he tossed it at the dogs, and the dogs went over there and gobbled it up. The dogs roamed the front yard without a fence, but Williams tells us they never did more than make noise. The dogs always barked at everyone, but they never attacked anyone. Uh, they barked at horses but they never bit a horse, and a horse can pretty much take care of itself, trust me, I have horses. Another vet says although malicious poisoning isn't common, these events are more likely in the warmer months. Dogs are out and running around, left outside for longer periods of time, barking more during the spring and summer, so we see suspicious malicious toxicities more commonly in the spring and summer. Vets tell us the most important thing to figure out is what type of toxin your animal consumed. They say the time it takes to determine this can make all the difference. The signs of poisoning are dependent on the toxin. This vet says fatalities are most commonly caused by insecticides, human medication, and sugar-free substitutes. You'll first notice pets vomit, suffer bleeding, or in severe cases go into seizure. You know, it's okay. It's all right. But in the last year, clinics have also seen a spike in dogs affected by marijuana. What used to be a relatively safe toxin, if you will, we're seeing much more severe signs. Animals that are spending, you know, two or three days in the hospital, we've unfortunately seen one or two fatalities even. Williams referred to her dogs as the front porch five. Now only one is left, and he's kept inside unless there's supervision. They were family. They were like my, you know, my kids or my babies. And uh, when I pulled in the driveway, the hardest thing was I would start crying all over because they always came to greet me and they weren't there. The incident is under investigation by the Tulsa County Sheriff's Office, but neighbors haven't seen the suspect since the fall. Reporting in Tulsa, Megan Allison, Two Works For You.